uh, Sonia Gonzalez Paredes, Paredes, who is the product manager for TOGAF in the Open Group. Uh, Sonia has 25 years of experience as a business and enterprise architecture consultant in different fields and industry verticals. Her professional experience as a product manager includes leading highly effective teams and applying different frameworks, best practices and tools. Professional training and certifications that Sonia has include TOGAF 9.1 certification, Arch Archimate 2.0, COBIT 5 foundation certification, training in BPPM, uh, BPPMN, I always get that wrong, BPMN, and SAFE 4 certified. So um, without further ado, a warm uh, welcome from the open group to um, Sonia Gonzalez. Over to you, Sonia. Okay, thank you very much, Steve, for having me here. And like Steve just said, I'm going to give you a quick overview on the open group architect portfolio for the digital age. And uh, I will start like uh, uh, talking a little bit about what it is uh, digital transformation for this architecture portfolio, what it means for that. And in relation with digital transformation, we had a very good, interesting set of presentation yesterday about this. And there's still confusion about what digital transformation is. So it is not something that a one person or one part of the organization will go over like it is explained in this cartoon is something that has to be taken over by the whole organization and it's a transformation that go deeper all the way uh, to the platforms but also the organizational culture and the way that we see and deliver value to our customers so related with that we can see a lot of examples right now due to the current situations everything has gone virtual things like going to a library and purchase a book is now preferred to be online to avoid going out into the store. So you can either buy an online book, which is a facility that has been there for a long time, or you can also go and purchase your book uh, using your credit card and your book will be delivered to your home. You can also send your address by WhatsApp and you will receive uh, the, the book and you can also receive your invoice electronically. So everything implies that uh, all business need to go digital now and need to have all this ecosystem connected. So in order to do that, there are several things that need to happen. I took this from the Design for Digital book for Jenny Ross that actually was mentioned yesterday for other our speakers. So in order to become digital, there's something very important, which is the digital offering, which is the intersection of the customer desires and the inspired solutions that creativity the team needs to put together, which involves a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, thinking out of the box for organizations. So that implies having a, a good customer insight, a good voice of the customer, the customer experience, it's rather important. This outside in view to gather what it is in the market, what my customer is asking for. This innovation of this new digital offering, for example, there are businesses that are now uh, usual, but things like Uber, for example, or some streaming was something that is not recognized a few years ago. And it's a demand that was created for the customer. All of this implies having a cultural shift new organizational map, new ways to distribute your organization, having a most cross-cutting view to the couple I have more modular platforms, and of course, to go into a more agile development and segmentations. But you need to shift your organization in order to do this. And it started with your strategy, the way you put your strategy to the area needs to be now a digital strategy. It's not the business and IT anymore. Everything is about the business and giving value. So in the centers, there's the customer, the value proposition, the customer journey, how they should be pleased, something that will please your customers. You need also to improve your business model, your operational model to go along with this, with all these, deliver value to different value stream capabilities, products and service offerings, and there's of course all the technology and digital platforms to offer this. And in the in the center of this is the need to shift organizational culture to make this mapping into your organization and above all to also keep your governance, your risk and security, which are things that are more important than ever now in this new digital age. So related with all this, there's the need to have this set of tools, you know, in order to really deliver this value and become digital. And there's where the open group, the open group portfolio of standards will come like this kind of like a uh, 
uh, building blocks or puzzle in which, depending on your needs, you have a whole uh, set of standards. For example, for your digital business model and your digital strategy, you can use the digital practitioner body of knowledge that was mentioned yesterday. Also, above all, you can use the total standard to have this overall view and landscape of your organization and to support strategic decision taking. You use the OAA standard to pursue agile at scale. You use the IT for IT reference architecture to serve your IT services uh, and digital products. And there is also a standard like the open business architecture, which is also used along with TOGAF to have this closer view on decision taking and this outside in view. And also you have the TOGAF series guide, which is this whole set of rich ecosystem for the TOGAF standard that I'm going to explain later today. And there's also the need to make a shift in the way that we apply EA as a practice and a profession. Organizations need to have EA to understand complexity because you cannot innovate, you cannot deliver this digital offering if you don't understand what you have. You need to understand that complexity and the interactions of the different elements into your platforms. And I took this from a study from Capgemini this year. It says like architects are paramount and very important for a strategic and tactical decision being present in 95% of those decisions. However, the study also show that the practice need to adapt better to support agile and the agile enterprise and to be able to support the use and adoption of new technologies and innovation which is everything pretty well aligned with what it means to be digital or become digital so to serve this and to have all these elements we have the architectural toolkit which is the whole set of standards, frameworks, reference architectures, models, and guides that uh, we have in the, in the open group to offer. You can consult in the architecture toolkit in our site, and you will be directed to a web page in which you will have a glance of all these different standards, and, and they are actually pretty useful and can be used in this puzzle uh, of building blocks that I just showed. And among this, there's, for example, the TOGAF standard, of course, and the Open Agile Architecture standard that we released recently. These two uh, standards are meant to be used together and inform and leverage each other. Like, you know, the TOGAF standard is a general framework supporting sustainable enterprise architecture. It has a discipline and role. And to give this general framework and methodology, which is the TOGAF ADM, and all the different techniques and the different artifacts that you can use and build using TOGAF to be adapted to fulfill different needs. On the other hand, the OAA is a standard that goes deeper into Agile at, at scale to pursue effective collaboration team, to pursue innovation, and this organization and digital transformation. And there's an intersection in the middle, which is EA supporting Agile and the TOGAF standard and OAA both supporting Agile. So in terms of the other elements into the architecture portfolio and the architecture toolkit, we have, of course, the TOGAF standard. And there's already work in progress about how the standard can be used to support enterprise agility and to use it in an agile way. And not only that, even a few years ago, we have several very good publications in the Open Group Library, uh, which are in the TOGAP Library, which are referring to Agile, several webinars and white papers that you can consult in there. It's, of course, the OAA that I just mentioned, the DP book, the IT for IT reference architecture, which is also now giving this, making this shift to offer product and service and products that are digital. Uh, we have the Archimedes standard that's going to be also uh, going deeper uh, later in this in this session, which is the de facto modeling language for enterprise architecture, which is pretty well adapted to be used along with the total standard that like you will see in here. You have this mapping between the different layers for Archimedes and the phases of the ADM. And we also have security, which is uh, very important now. And yesterday we saw a few presentations of our server trust architecture. So there's work in progress into the architecture forum along with the security forum to provide this reference architecture for server trust. And also it's very important to make the shift in the role as a profession, therefore the relevance of supporting uh, the profession uh, like Chris just explained in the video about the AEA. So the architect should become an internal consultant providing this strategic support, but also going deeper into innovation, 
it should be more integrated into different working groups, not only agile working groups, but in general, uh, supporting this cultural change, becoming an influencer, an agent for change, keeping, of course, the governance, but with a more dynamic approach, is like being immersed in the day-to-day -day governance uh, for the organization and to support the, the facility for digital technology adoption. You know, adapting a new technology is not just going and, and buying or making a partnership or going into the cloud. It implies making an assessment of your current capabilities to support this new technology. So the role needs to be adapted, of course, to fulfill this and above all, it needs to be adapted depending on the particular organization and need context and maturity level, which is not the same for all organizations. And uh, uh, before wrapping up, all these resources can be found in the TOGAF library. The TOGAF library, it's, uh, you can consult that in the open group library. You will have in there, of course, the main volumes for the TOGAF standard. And, but we will also find a set of guidance that we have put together, members of the Architecture Forum have put together to provide guidance to support more specific topics, architectural styles, trends, and methodologies. So the guys around the Agile uh, uh, topic are, are work in progress to become a part of this talk of series, guys. There is also a set of guys that are already been published about business architecture, about security, about SOA, about how to adapt the ADM, how to construct your EA capability following a leader's approach. All these documents are in the library and are aimed to be used along with the talk of standards. So the talk of standard, it's much more than just the main specification. It's the, 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 this set of documents that provide those specific guidance. And there's, of course, more in this TOGAF library. Besides the, the content related with TOGAF and EA, we also have uh, information about how the practice and the standard can be used with other uh, for particular reference architecture, like the BIAN, for example, for the uh, banking industry, uh, the Archimedes standard used along with the TOGAF standard, uh, the Unified Architecture Framework, which is an ONG uh, standard, how to be used with the IT for IT reference architecture. And we have also some practical application content in there, like webinars, use cases, and case studies that are also uh, really valuable and to to rehearse your or you have your EA practice properly. And finally, uh, before wrapping up, uh, you can have all these resources that you can consult. You have the TOGAF library, you have the set of TOGAF series guide, and you have a lot of opportunities to get it certified. My colleague Andrew Yossi already explained very carefully the different kind of certifications and credentials that we have. So go ahead and please take a look also on these resources. And with, with this, I'm finishing my my presentation, I wanted to thank the members of the Architecture Forum. They have put together all this valuable set of information and also to practitioners and people that are using the standard and that are promoting the use of the standard. Thank you very much.